And I'm very happy with the decision and I quite easily because we have been in touch over it. Happily say I am happy that Agassi and Samantha were victorious in that case. I mean, we have no issues um, professionally. In that particular case, what you have are people who do not qualify for refugee status in Belize. You cannot apply for refugee status and say, I am fleeing from Cuba. I want refugee status in Belize so I can go to the States. You have to claim refugee status and stay in the country that grants that to you on their face, on their application, and in their evidence to the court. And say, well, they don't want to stay here. They don't want to go. So what is it that they are trying to do? They are caught. They are prosecuted. Some smart lawyer says, claim asylum. I want to get you for God to help for progress. There will be no security. And overnight, you run on that. We would be tacitly facilitating human smuggling. In the case of the Cubans, it's a difficult situation. It's a difficult situation because we cannot deport them to a third country. We have to send them back to Cuba. There are no direct flights. There is no bus. There is no boat to Cuba. So we're actively talking to friends about how we can get that done in relation to this one. And in September, we have negotiations in Cuba with the Cuban government trying to have a protocol on the, treat the deportation of Cubans from Belize. We are trying to create a scenario in which the immigration laws of Belize are obeyed, that those who are legitimate asylum seekers will get a fair hearing, and if they satisfy the criteria, will be given refugee status and protection. And we are also trying to ensure that only Belizeans have Belizean nationality. I just received my advice from the crowns on how to cancel approximately 30 nationalities that are illegal, and I'm going to cancel them. We are trying to clean up a very difficult situation, let me put it that way.